What's up guys? This is Alan and today we got another roof leak. Yes, if you guys been watching me for a while or if this is your first time, for whatever reason I've been getting a lot of roof leak uh, calls lately. And uh, to be honest, you don't have to be an expert to repair roof leaks. All you gotta do is use common sense. Now in my area, roof tiles is very common. And the way they do the valleys with roof tiles like this, it's also common in my area. Now the problem you're gonna have over time is, well, for one, you're gonna get debris in the valley. Like this. You can see pine needles in there. The valley's right under it. Now the roof tiles are really close together. And the way they do this is because, well, it looks nicer this way. Now underneath there is a metal valley, just like this one. The problem over time is, well, it will get clogged with stuff. And not just clogged, it's when they build it, they actually make it even worse because they're putting the roof tiles really close together and to keep them standing up like this nicely, they put wedges underneath to holding up. As you can see, you get junk in there because the water runs down underneath the roof tiles and it hits this wedges they put on the bottom and you can see all the modding here from over the years. Now, the water is gonna follow the path of uh, least resistance. So the water comes down, it gets blocked by all kinds of stuff and then it will run sideways. And it doesn't really matter how well your underlayment uh, is uh, installed. It doesn't really matter what kind you get either, unless you get the self-stick uh, um, underlayment. But what usually happens is the water runs under the tiles and then under the felt paper. And then it will find a seam in between the uh, pieces of OSB or plywood and get inside your house. And that is how you're gonna get roof leaks. And this is extremely common in my area. I don't know why they do it this way. Um, I don't know if there is a roofing school that you go to and they teach you to do this. I can tell you I'm not an expert, but I can tell you I have common sense. And this is what I'm doing today. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoe tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder Got Alright guys a little pause uh, let me show you what's going on here so we got all kinds of junk in the valley as you guys can see uh, this one they actually built it better than other ones uh, I've seen in the past they actually put some uh, underlayment underneath the valley and they didn't overlap it on the top like I've seen in the past but they did two things wrong here even though they didn't overlap it you can see we got underlayment over there short that underlayment should have gone all the way to here under this metal flashing so this flashing should have had two layers underneath it but obviously the people the you know contractor who built this house they didn't care so they stopped short over there and then as you can see all the junk in the valley I mean come on guys this is common sense seriously I mean the water wasn't even even able to flow freely down because this bantens right here they're in the way look the water comes down and then it, they're like dams going all the way down the water catches in here and just goes right straight um, underneath the roof tiles and the way they finish the underlayment over here, well, the water, you know, has been going underneath here, so, um, and it literally just started leaking in the house. I mean, look, look at this area right here. 
look, this the leak is actually somewhere over here. So my guess is this one right here. I mean, look all this. Come on, this is common sense. This valley should be exposed, you know, all the way to here down, and there shouldn't be any uh, obstructions going down, so the water doesn't, you know, go in a different direction than down. So what we're actually doing today, um, I actually got a helper. I, I wasn't gonna be here all day. Um, but let me show you. So this is one valley right here. And all of them are just like this one. Um, there's the other one. Now there are no leaks in this area. Um, but you know, we're just clearing all the valleys and making it right. So there won't be any issues in the future. I'm move fast. New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back better than last year. It's a new me, never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Cause damn, I was built to last. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. Only I can make a change. Slowly take a step today. I will never be the same. Cause that's what it takes. All right guys, so we are done. So this job took about, I would say, six, seven hours. Uh, we got all the valleys done. There's one thing that I gotta improve on, and that's getting my valley cut straight. Uh, the flashing is actually coming out all the way to here. So there is a big overlap. Um, I need a bigger saw with a bigger blade and then just put the chalk line down and then just cut them straight. Um, you know, I'm not an expert, guys. I just uh, have common sense. And, uh, well, this is what, what's going on. So I got the channels clear and it, there shouldn't be any more issues. Now this roof is actually in good condition. If, I, if you go farther out, the fall paper is actually black and you know, it's clean and it, it looks fine. So if I had just called, uh, you know, a roofing company that would have said, you know, I needed a new roof. Now for those of you guys wondering how much I would have charged somebody for this job. Well, this is my house guys. So that's what I, the, you know, that's one of the benefits of being a handyman. You can just do your own work and you can actually assess the real damage and assess and see exactly what you need. A roofing company would have said, I need a new roof. A new roof for this entire roof, which is about 24, almost 2,500 square foot house. Uh, in my area right now, you're looking probably close to $20,000. And that is reusing the roof tiles and just changing the underlayment. And you know what? They would have just replaced everything and done it the same way it was before. Assuring that it's going to leak in 10 to 20 years. I don't know why they do that. They do it on purpose. They just don't care. I don't know. Well, actually, I do know. I mean, doing this, even though my cuts are not straight, um, it, it takes time. So it's a lot easier just to put the tiles as close as possible and just cut them right through the metal. Uh, but, you know, pushing them back and then making sure uh, that there's staying straight and not falling and laying on the channel you know it, it, it takes time so but yeah so this is good to go and i should not have any leaks anymore this roof even though it's 20 years old i know it can easily last another 10 to 20 years and guess what if i have another leak somewhere else i'll fix it and i'll be proactive you know once a year i'll get in the attic and i'll just uh, you know check for leaks so I got in my attic just recently and um, I found some water mag marks on the joist uh, if you look at the video right now on the screen so I know where that's coming from it's coming from this area right here stupid freaking solar panels that are useless um, yeah, so I'm gonna have to take the solar panels out and then check uh, Remove the tiles around the brackets and then check the area and reseal and reinstall everything uh, But these solar panels they were installed in 2000. So I mean it took 20 years for them to leak So I guess 20 years seems to be the uh, number That uh, the magic number for roofs to leak right here right where the 
uh, tiles and underneath most uh, roofers do not paint so that's one thing the next thing that I've noticed and this is like extremely common uh, I see it everywhere especially in new houses the felt paper if you look underneath it's supposed to overlap the felt paper is supposed to come out and then you're supposed to fold it and it should overlap at least two inches right but you can see it's not it's actually recessed about I would say half an inch so there's exposed wood I have no idea how this wood right here has not rotted in over 20 years I just I mean I'm amazed that it's lasted this long I mean you can see some uh, water damage but it's com considering that it's been getting wet every single time it rains I mean it, it's in good condition but yeah this is the next project that I'm gonna be working on I mean they put this I don't know why you call this maybe you, you master roofers that are watching this can tell me what this is called um, but this right here um, half by by force or whatever you call those they're actually lifting the tiles up but the problem they're creating as they lift the tile up the water that gets under the roof tiles it comes down and then it hits this right here and it just pulls back there and then as you can see there's water marks so it gets behind it why they do that I have no idea and I have no idea how it's lasted this long so that's gonna be the next project I'm gonna be doing in my house uh, I'm gonna be changing changing all the uh, uh, well I'm gonna be flashing this area right here so I'm gonna be taking the first row of uh, tiles and then I'm gonna be getting some maybe some six inch uh, metal flashing six by two and then just wait wedging I'm gonna wedge the uh, flashing underneath the spell paper probably put some sealant underneath it and that way that will keep it dry for now on and that will assure this roof is gonna last for a very long time so those are some of the few things that I got to do guys I mean this job if I was doing it for a customer I would have charged um, if I was doing all the valleys like I did and I would have probably put a little more effort into getting my uh, cut straight that would have taken me a few more hours uh, I probably would have charged I would say maybe 2400 um, but yeah so I saved tons of money and then now redoing all the uh, the drip edge around the house you know plus the valleys if I was doing that for a customer you're looking probably for a uh, I would say you know four to five thousand easily um, but that beats paying twenty thousand dollars for a new roof so but since I'm doing it myself all I'm paying is just my time and you know a few hundred dollars of uh, materials anyways guys uh, as always if you like the videos don't forget to like comment below and I will see you next time